Okay, as far as why that shape, in biology, life science is at large. There is a concept called chemical signaling. It is literally the root of everything. Literally, I'm going to give you about the first year of a four-year biology degree in this simple conversation. In your mind, envision an episode of Mythbusters where they have that whiteboard and the little hand comes out with a crayon and draws the picture. Imagine that, okay? And in your mind, imagine an elevator, a lobby of a hotel, and an elevator being drawn. You got double doors, you got a fucking button, okay? And like any elevator, you're gonna wander up drunk and push the button, and if you're really drunk, you're gonna push the button 67 fucking times, and one elevator's gonna come when it's fucking ready, okay? So to make this analogy even more perfect, let's add a couple layers. One, the button is pressure sensitive, okay? If you push the button not hard enough, nothing happens. You don't make contact, you don't get an elevator, which is actually pretty accurate. But now just imagine that the amount of pressure it takes to make contact is more every floor you go up. And then also to add to this, let's just say you can only go one floor at a time. So you push the button, you wait for the elevator, and you get on, you go one floor, you get off, you repeat the process, okay? So now the stage is set. The first thing you need to understand is, much like I made the joke about the car key, the button doesn't make the elevator come. The button signals a bunch of very complicated machinery that we don't see and don't understand make the elevator come. There's weights and gears and cables and clutches and all kinds of engineering shit going on that ultimately culminates in an elevator appearing. That is very analogous to muscle growth. Drugs push a button that engages a bunch of complicated machinery that ultimately manufactures some fucking protein and makes your muscles bigger. Very, very analogous. And just like that button in this Mythbusters scenario, the button is in fact pressure sensitive because the body abides by something called homeostasis. It does not like to change, and it takes greater and greater force to push the thing further and further from its stasic point. One movement, not that hard. Two movements, more hard. So on and so on and so on. Anyone who's tried to gain or lose weight is very familiar with that. You must diet ever fucking harder and harder to lose weight. And the opposite direction to gain weight would be massive. It takes ever more food to do so. Your body likes to be where it is, and it does not like to move. Therefore, more pressure as you move. So, going back to the two milligrams per kilogram TRT guy, you know that you're at this pressure on the button at two milligrams per kilogram. And you know if you train hard enough and relentless enough, you'll periodically get an elevator, but not consistently enough to your liking. So you now know how much pressure is the ground floor. And you know that even a few milligrams more will get you to the second floor. And a few milligrams beyond that will get you to the third floor. So if you know you're starting at 200, you make the nominal jump to say 300, you know you've got some floors on which you can climb. And just about the time you're using up that margin, you then raise the dose over the next few weeks, and now you have a new margin. And the magic of this is, you're not wasting gods and gods of fucking drug. Can you imagine the drunk asshole that wants to go up all 100 floors of the building and he walks up the button and pushes it as hard as he fucking can every single time? That asshole's gonna have a broken, sore or broken finger long before he gets to the top. That sore, broken finger is very analogous to your kidneys, your liver, your fucking cardiovascular system, your fucking something is gonna be sore before you get to the top because you wasted way too much energy pushing that fucking button. So you push it nominally and escalate as needed. Do you occasionally miss time though? Yes. There's learning in all of this. But in a general biological concept, that's a very, very good idea. So now when you add up the area on your curve, the total amount of drugs you take, it is very much lower than somebody that comes in and just takes the 800 milligrams right from the beginning. Anyone who's done calculus can see that there's a big difference in that area on your curve. The, by and large, I'm the drug guy. I love drugs, I think it's great, I love my job. But by and large, I'm pretty comfortable and confident in saying honestly that the less drugs you take, the longer you're going to be able to take fucking drugs. So that, that pretty much sums all of that up. 